Uh, we want to find the pH and the degree of dissociation. So there are two parts to the question. Let's do part A first, all right? So uh, the acid is HA, all right? This is the equilibrium equation. So let's draw it out. All right? And because it is the reversible arrow, it's equilibrium. In J1, chemical equilibrium, you learn that you will therefore do the ice table. ICE, right? What's the purpose of doing ICE? If you still recall, the whole idea is you want the information called the equilibrium info, right? You want this value, you want this value, and you want this value. That's the whole idea. So that you can apply your K expression. So the next part is to put in all the values that we know. What values we know? We know the acid, this is a concentration. So it's 0.1. All right. We know that the water is not involved in the K expression, so we put a dash, take it out. We know that initially there is no react, uh, no products at all, so you can put dash or you put zero, doesn't matter. Is that okay? Make sense to you? And we know some of it has dissociated out. Well, all this D before, huh? J1, so it's minus X. Based on the balance equation, this is then plus X plus X. And then initial minus change will give you what is left behind, which is known as the equilibrium, i.e. this one. Right, around. And from there, we apply the K expression. So Ka equals to right over left. The right-hand side over the left-hand side. Very easy. Which is X squared divided by 0.1 minus x. Okay, which is this value, it must be given the Ka, 1.8 times 10 minus five. So you have a balance, uh, or rather you have a chemical, uh, um, you have an equation, I mean, all right, mathematical equation that can solve x using quadratic. But you should also know that in H2 level, we don't do quadratic. We skip quadratic equation. So the approach to solve it is like this. You do something known as an assumption. All right? So you say, assuming that the X, the amount that dissociated, remember all this, huh? you need to present because huh? they want you to see is less than the original concentration of acid makes sense because only the dissociation is very small. Just that it clean up to become like that without the X below, so you skip quadratic. And therefore, X, if I calculate it, is this value. which is actually the concentration of H plus ions. Okay, all right, easy. All right, X is here. H3O plus and H plus is the same, all right? And from there, therefore, you can calculate the pH. Sub it in, I think you get a 2.87. So the first part we have calculated it. I'm going to carry on the calculate part B, which is degree of dissociation. The first formula we have alpha is the amount of acid ionizers divided by the amount of acid used. How much ionizers, which is X value, i.e. this value. So 1.34 times 10 pound minus three, original concentration of acid, 0 0.1. So it's 1.34 times 10 power minus two, also can say is 1.34%. Then multiply by 100. 
If you would like to catch my latest videos, click on subscribe button right now. And click on the bell if you want to receive instant notifications once I've uploaded my latest video. If you would like to join my live chemistry classes and revision workshops, go on to winnerseducation.com and find out how you can score distinction for chemistry on a consistent basis, either in our center or online via Zoom. If you want to check out my online school, go on to passwithdistinction.teachable.com. You'll be able to learn chemistry concepts at your own pace and anywhere in the world, topic by topic. This is Sean Chua from Winners Education to your distinction in chemistry.